live. Hi, we're live, Jessica. Hi, welcome to ESME Live webinar series of industry professionals surviving the pandemic. My name is Jessica. And my name is Cher, and we are the co-founders of ESME. Um, ESME is the first e-learning platform marketplace for um, contributors and learners in the Philippines. So what is ESME? Um, this is our new venture. Um, is, ESME is an e-learning platform dedicated for Filipinos. And through our platform, you can learn new use, useful skills uh, at your own pace from Filipino masters and gurus. And also for our mission, our purpose really is to be the forefront of this pandemic situation. Since COVID-19 happened since February, we want to innovate Filipinos by creating a platform and also creating a community for everybody. Um, we also want to um, collate all the um, knowledge creators who want to share their skills and to help fellow Filipino students, mentors, or entrepreneurs um, to become the best best version of themselves. So hashtag Filipino upgrade. Yeah. Right. So um, ESME speaks to create a community where learning and skill sharing becomes second nature to the Filipino student, mentors, and of course entrepreneurs to an easily accessible hub where they can develop hone and share skills, of course, monetize, and creating a well-equipped and empowered individuals. So what's in it um, for everybody who's watching right now? So ESME is good for students. So you will be able to learn all of the latest skills because we've been trying to be agile as much as possible, trying to learn new um, possible technological um, innovations, and we want to share it for free. And then also you can learn at your own pace. Um, so you can view it on your mobile, on your tablet, on your desktop, anytime. If you're nocturnal, that's good. Then it's a limited access. Um, everything is for free except for the master classes, of course. And then it's 100% um, Filipino instruct um, created by Filipino instructors. So there. Yeah, and for contributors or instructors, um, this would be uh, your chance to share and create a positive impact to the Filipino community. So uh, we want to call out uh, the mentors, gurus, and entrepreneurs to share your expertise uh, by sharing an online courses. So this will help you to, uh, this will give you more opportunity to inspire people. And aside from that, um, a chance for you to earn more money. So for aside of aside from the um, instructors who already digital uh, already doing digital online courses, we would like to encourage um, traditional um, teachers, instructors, or people who do seminars and workshop to transition to digital. And we at ESME would like to help you to uh, trans transition to the 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 digital. Uh, Age, right so yeah. this uh for brands or professionals this will be your chance to showcase your expertise and uh, of course uh, join our growing community yes that's right so um the main purpose of our webinar today is really more on tapping all everyone who could help the community to survive this pandemic scenario. So we want to give back to the community. So since the platform, the ESM platform is for free, um, we're also providing free webinars for every everybody who are um, struggling with their businesses. Um, rather, they might not have the skill or such, or they might not have the big idea um, to go ahead with this um, concern. So that's why we're providing this Free webinars, free live webinars, um, free courses for everybody. So there. So yeah. So who are our guests today for our first episode of ESME live webinar? So I'm very excited to introduce them. But first, um, we'll introduce our first guest. Chair. Um, yes. Let me introduce our first guest. Um, guys, please say hi. So first, here's Foy. Foy.
Hi everyone, thank you for having us today on your show, uh, this amazing webinar. Alright, let us call then si Foy. Hi Foy. Sorry, TJ. Hi, magandang hapon. Good afternoon everyone. And of course, Miss Summer Carulo Reyes. Hi. Sorry, Miss Summer Reyes Carulo. I'm so sorry. Karulyo. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> thank you po. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming for today. So um, I hope everybody will be interested about what we are going to discuss today. So for today's topic, it's about um, event professionals um, surviving the pandemic. Um, but before anything else, we would like to have everybody see our, our our short very very short video and then after which we'll be starting discussing it Ayan. sorry for this okay Ayun, thank you very much for watching that. Sorry for if there was no sound. Um, but you could watch all of our videos naman on our um, Facebook page. That's ESME Philippines. So for our first um, guest, I'd like to call on Miss Summer. So Miss Summer had been in the industry for... Um, ilang years na ba, Miss Summer, have you been in the industry? For more than 10 years or such? More than, yeah, more than 10 years around, around you know, uh, we started 2005. Ayun. So, konting chika lang about Miss Summer. So, Miss Summer, I've known her for, actually, personally, I've known her for 10 years. And I consider Miss Summer as one of my event mentors. Um, she was able to guide me, inspired me, and I was be able to become a better event coordinator because of her and siguro dahil dun sa kanya i was able to think of other creations or the about it about ibang executions so just a brief background about miss summer so she has a diploma course for from De La Salle College of St. Benil, um, Professional Continuing Education. And she was able to receive a plaque of excellence for having earned community grade average of 3.9. Um, she's also part of the VRC Creative Events. If you know VRC Creative Events, um, they're the one, um, they're the masterminds of the Before I Do Bridal Fair. So, yun. Yan. Hi, Miss Summer. How are you today? <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> I know. Ayun. Ayun. So, Miss Summer, ako kilang, kilalang kilala kita, pero um, may we know, how did you start um, with the events industry? Paano, 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 paano mo na pasukan tong event industry? Considering you came from corporate um, before. Uh, okay, let's start with corporate. I took early retirement from 
uh, Philippine Veterans Bank. So mm -hmm. I used to do HR work. Mm -hmm. When I tried to go back to the corporate scene, nobody wanted to hire me. I was just uh, almost in my 30s. Almost pa lang yun, pero they found me over age na raw. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so because of that, uh, isip ako kung ano pang pwede kong gawin. Kasi, so, natama-tama, ikakasal na ako nun. So, inisip ko, uh, pag-aralan ko yung kasal ko. Kasi hindi na, uh, hindi ako yung mapasok sa negosyo na, or sa trabaho na hindi ko alam ang dapat kong gawin. Tama. Alam mo yun, kasi sugod ka sa gera, wala kang barel. Or something yes. like that. So, yun. Um, so, prior to my wedding, so which was February, meron na akong kasal na tatlo ng January. Wow, <laughs> so, ang bilis makahanap ng client. I love it. So, stress. <laughs> Pero at that time, uh, which was 2004, ang rate ko na noon at that time for OTD was 15,000 already. Mm. Is, is that quite pricey or or not pricey? At that time? Pero, um, is it premium already at that time? At that time, that was standard rate. Ah, 2004. Okay. Mm -mm. And ayaw ko naman pumasok na napakababa. Ayaw mm -mm. ko naman. Siyempre, mag-offer na mataas. Wala naman akong pwedeng ipagmalaki pa. Opo. So, yun. So, Ms. Summer, so, from, I know, from wedding coordination, bakit ka nag-start naman ng, I know, before I do series na bridal uh, hair? Even when I was in high school, in college, uh, the family has been into events already. So, nag-organize nag na yung family namin ng bazaars, mm -hmm. sa SM, Harrison Plaza, nung meron pa uh, Plaza. Um, my aunt was actually the first one who did a bridal fair prior to me. So, when I was in HR, ako nag-suggest sa kanya ng job fair. So, ngayon, job fair and concentration niya. Tinigil niya ang bridal fair. Ako na yung nagpatuloy ng bridal fair. Pero under my brand, not hers. Mm -hmm. Ito po kasi, coordinator ako. Ano bang pwede kong gawin? Kasi, I'm between it. So, suppliers, clients. So, pag nasa bridal fair, it's the same thing. Supplier, clients. Get na mo, bridal okay. fair. So, All right. Okay. Um, pero between, I know, Miss Summer, um, between wedding coordination and between bridal fairs, which do you take as your preference or parang mas gusto mo siya somehow? Uh, the bread and butter of the company now is the bridal fair. Uh, we only take um, socials and corporates when um, when somebody hires us. Mm. But personally, I, syempre, I like doing the weddings. Kasi hands-on ako doon from start to finish. Kung ako kausap mo na simula hanggang araw ng kasal mo, ako ang kausap mo. Okay. I don't pass the project to a staff. Yeah. Um, since COVID pandemic, in the COVID nineteen pandemic happened this summer, I know a lot of event um, professionals are affected, and I'm quite sure um, ikaw din naging affected ka for the before I do bridal series, right? So, um, my question is, what's the current situation right now with the company with before I do, and how are we coping it, coping up with it? Uh, actually, one month before our event, which was in, scheduled in April, we were all set already. So we're fully paid already with Mega Mall. Collaterals are already out. Uh, lahat na. So posters, jeepney ads, hang signs, mm -hmm. lampos banners. Fully paid na lahat yon. It's just a matter of executing the bridal fair. And then, of course, the pandemic arrived. nag lockdown tayo midway. Correct. So, ayun, we, we basically stopped collecting payments because at that time, there were mga for collections. Mm -mm. Pero nung, ano, uh, nung briefing, we assured 
our exhibitors already that we are ready. Kasi there were um, some guidelines already at that time. Eh. So, meron na rin kami mga alcohol gels, may face masks, we even hired medics to be there on the spot. So so, the, yun, so so considering that you're almost there parang parang execution na lang yung dapat gawin diba and yeah. the mere fact that you already prepared for the like you mentioned yung medics and yung um para for for sanitation so how are you feeling right now since in tech, tama, tiba, Ms. Summer, um, it's already canceled though. Um, the bridal fair in April was it in supposed to be basically postponed. Lang siya. Ah, so are you moving it until so? Uh, paano po you know? <laughs> We're also waiting for Mega Mall. Eh. Ah, okay, hmm. Pero yun so, na. Uh, when we when the announcement was uh announced, when the announcement about the lockdown was given. Ayun nga, we stopped collecting na nga. And then, kasi we thought that it's useless to collect. Mm -hmm. and then, kasi it's not the priority of the exhibitors. Eh. Everybody is panicking. Um, San sila kukuha ng pera? Kakainin nila. Um, daily needs ang kailangan nila. Mm -hmm. So, we decided to, nga, to postpone the event. And just continue to promote the exhibitors um, in the time of crisis, para at least kahit paano, visible pa rin sila sa target market nila. If ever that clients would want to still book them, at least they, the clients know na the exhibitors or the suppliers are just there waiting for them. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, we promoted them up to April, and then we stopped. Kasi ang hirap, well, I stopped. <laughs> Kasi ang hirap mag-compose ng content for free, for four clients a day. And I post every day. Correct. Ito, so, ang hirap na. So, uh, so, after the break, we'll start promoting the exhibitors again this June. Uh, and then, ayun, so far, the my girls are just, of course, at their homes, at their houses. Uh, we're operating remotely. Um, most of the work right now, if ever, will be just on us. Uh, Sir Alvin at saka sa akin lang mapupunta yung bulk of work. Pero may summer since, like you mentioned, so if April is postponed and there are two more up, supposedly upcoming bridal fairs, diba? usually we have another one in July and November. So are, pero is everything um, rescheduled? Everything's on uh -oh. It's actually, ano ate, it's July, September, or November. Uh, as only among event ka supposedly this uh -huh. year? April, July, September, November. Ah, okay. So, yeah. so everything's on hold while we're waiting for Mega. Uh, okay. Kasi we, we need to, fa to have guidelines also eh, on okay. how to proceed. Mm -mm. Tsaka, we really have to take care of our brides and grooms and even our yeah. suppliers uh -huh. at the end of the day. And mm -hmm. I'm so sure naman, even Mega Mall is trying their best to find solutions for the ex for any conferences or any seminars or conventions that will happen in the next few months. So, yeah. siguro abangan na lang natin lahat um, what will happen um, for bridal fairs. Um, I have a next question, Ms. Summer. Since COVID happened and somehow everything was caught, somehow, my noise. Uh, everything was um, paused somehow. It's okay. Everything was paused somehow. But uh, I know you you have you have come up with a new business. Um, ano to, ano ba to? In 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 boredom or was it inspired by another person somehow? Um, actually, right now I've I'm doing a couple of things. Um, so I'm an independent distributor of Young Living. When I joined Young Living, it's I didn't actually thought of going or doing the business. I, I just 
bought the product just for myself. Yeah. But since there's a need right now, uh, so I concentrate ako sa, sa young living. So because we have a line that addresses uh, basically everything that we need, lalo na when it comes to sanitation and wellness, which yeah. is yung pinaka concern ng mga tao ngayon. Yeah. And then um, if you've noticed, I've been posting the chon. <laughs> Yes, I love the uh, John this summer. Yeah. So yun, is it from a friend from Cebu or di ko oh, actually, it's the business of a friend. So uh, they they brought their lechoneros here in Manila. So the, the lechoneros from Cebu are here in Manila. Okay. So it's authentic Cebu lechon pa rin kasi yung mga taga Cebu yung nagluluto ng lechon niya. Ayan. So kung yeah. kailangan nyo ng lechon na spicy or yung regular, meron si Miss Summer yan. And yeah. if you like um, the young living, ano tawag, tama bang term din Miss Summer? Is it oils or scents? Uh, essential oils. Essential oils. Ayan. Yes. Yung mga papahid-pahid mo pag may nahihilo ka or vertigo. Yeah, or... ito nga nagpapausok ka sa likod. <laughs> Okay. Kapag <laughs> natitense kami ni Ms. Summer, kung hindi nyo kilala si Ms. Summer, she really doesn't do uh, much interviews, right? And yeah. I'm very I'm very thankful pinaunlakan niyo po kami ng pagkakataon to interview. I love kita. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully by Summer. next week, we'll have our own um, uh, page for online business na talaga. So ah, we'll perfect. be... Uh, we'll be doing the, what do you call that? Vegetables, eggs, frozen meats, and other home essentials. So I have, kasi syempre, sayang naman, medyo pricey yung aking mga yeah. investments. I have to monetize. So I might uh, push through with the hand sanitizers, liquid soaps. Yeah, that's good. Um, that's good innovation. Actually, Mr. Summer, last question na lang. So, since from going from um, going from corporate, going to weddings, becoming um, a bridal fair um, coordinator or or ano tawag dyan, conf- conference, but matatawag yung bridal fair or expo, expo coordinator, and then pandemic ha- happened. What do you think will be our outlook for next year? Do you think meron pa bang COVID by 2021? How are we? seeing this or will there be new innovations for for us event coordinators and such what's your opinion on this um for covid everybody's hopeful that actually by end of the year sana mayroon ng vaccine but of course regardless of what year it is as long as there's no vaccine it will not move will it will never be normal for us Correct. Yeah. for um for the suppliers we just have to think of or go back to basics or think of what we are really good at and find ways on how to monetize our talents our skills now so let's say um makeup artist okay wala kang wedding pero marunong kang mag medyo makapalamuka masanay ka sa camera di gumawa ka ng youtube madaming gusto matuto sa paano mag makeup uh ano pa ba? Uh, photographers um i had my yl group is actually concentrating on uh, sales training and digital marketing so i tapped uh, i tap a photographer to teach us on how to take photos that are instagramable kasi kahit anong post mo pangit ang picture mo bale wala Totoo, yeah. so you just have to think of what you know what you have and monetize that. So if you have assets like you have a car, you have a van, lalo move. Totoo. Yeah. So yan. Mm-hmm. Pero uh, for bridal fairs, um, at the moment, if we are not allowed to gather, it will always be online. But once um, the lockdown is lifted or there are, let's say, maging lenient na as to how many people would have to be allowed to gather in one place, we would uh, do hybrid bridal fairs, meaning there's an actual bridal fair going on and, an, and another one uh, online lang. 
Okay. Uh, we cannot push for a big venue because it will be too pricey. Too pricey to the point na baka wala ding sumali. Uh, why is that? Because um, the venue that we rent is almost 1 million. So uh, the exhibitors, sabi na natin, what? Sabi na natin 100. Tapos sabihin, sasabihin ni Mega, uh, 50 lang ang pwede. So yung cost na hati-hatiin to sa 50. Totoo. We have we have to pay longer hours for ingress, longer hours for egress. Tapos yung per per industry standard which is not being practiced here in the Philippines. Um ang aisles ang standard size ng aisle is 3 meters. So what yung is yung booth, yeah. Ang ganun kalapad. Mm. Dapat yung dadaanan ng tao. Pero ang bridal fair dito, ang pinakamaliit na aisle is 1 meter. Sikip. Tapos, sikip tayo. Tapos ngayon gagawing tatlong metro. Oo. So, tapos, ang, o, tapos ang booth daw, dapat 3 meters ang opening at dalawa lang ang bantay. Oh. Mm. So Tapos, parang Miss Summer is yung sabi mo mas yung, yung magiging event natin mas malaki yung spaces in between tapos mas malaki din yung pathway for the people, right? Yeah. So that is if you are to push with a big venue. Okay. So if ever that we will have a, a bridal fair, it would be best to just have a small venue with the social distancing pa rin. Pero yung mag Mag, uh, actual bridal fairs are those na talagang kailangan na makita ng clients. Yes. No, like makeup artists kasi kailangan makita yung actual work nila. Mm -hmm. uh, ang stylist kasi pwede naman online na lang. Yeah. Yung mga ganon. Yeah. Okay. So, right. Alright, Miss Summer. Very insightful yung mga binigay mo sa amin. But please stay. Um, we'll have at, um, our next guest, which is TJ and Miss Jessica, hold on, hold on tight lang. Ayan. I'm sorry, I'm mute. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, thank you, Miss Summer and Cher. And um, before I introduce the um, the very dashing DJ Yuso, and I would like to greet the <laughs> greet Sir Mel Cortez, one of the legend in the Philippine photography industry and a good friend. And also shout out to the Photo Market uh, Group, one of the biggest community in uh, all Filipino photographers. So let's introduce uh, the very dashing PJ Yuzon. He's one. Uh, he's he has he is one of the. Uh, he's a founder of many ventures. So he's a founder of Wedding Suppliers Association of the Philippines, um, events venue PH Magazine publisher. He is also a sales and marketing expert, and wedding travel and ex food expo organizer. He is also known as a political leader, life coach, and the game changer. And one of his new venture is the mobile palengke. Ang daming ganap. So, yeah, let's welcome TJ. Please greet, greet our guests, uh, our audience. Hello, everyone. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. <clears throat> maraming maraming salamat, uh, SME, for inviting me. Ayan. Yeah, we really appreciate na you've accepted our invitation. So, let's get right into uh, the interview. No? So, um, I'm very curious, how did you start it and what is your journey sa, uh, in the events industry? All right. Um, Actually, before I wedding industry, to be exact, 
um, I used to work results for Manila, SM Super Malls head office. I used to work jobstv.com, uh, Tom's World as events, as sales and marketing, actually. So um, right after that, so seven years corporate experience, I decided to have my own business, which is actually pumasok muna ako as choreographer sa wedding industry. Choreographer. So that's, yeah, choreographer. That's why medyo hindi din nila talaga alam yung background ko from the start. Kasi nga, pumasok ako as hindi as event planner, hindi ako pumasok as event organizer. Nag-start talaga ako kasi that's my passion also. Um, yeah, choreography. Yeah, mga social events like Tibu, wedding, yan. Yun yung ginagawa ko. So that's my uh, initial background actually before ako mag-start sa events. That's very interesting. So, but uh, right now, uh, ano sa tingin mo, like, um, what is your specialty in uh, the events industry? Like, what are you most passionate about? All right, right now, I'm focusing actually organizing um, events. I mean, Expo, different areas, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. We organize a uh, wedding expo. Uh, we have in Baguio. We have in Pampanga. We have in actually in Laguna, Batangas, Cavite, Davao, Cebu, Zamboanga. Aside from the wedding expo, we organized then um, Philippine Job Fair because I have philippinejobfair.com. I have also um, Philippine Travel Expo. So we organized Travel Expo plus the Philippine Workshops. The philippineworkshops.com naman, uh, we organize mga trainings, workshops, um, uh, ano, nationwide. So, uh, yung, uh, yeah. so, you're into a lot of uh, um, events talaga, no? I'm, yes. So, right now, I'm sure, diba, uh, yung sa mga events, it's planned ahead of time. And with right. the, what happened with the, you know, COVID crisis, um, what is the current situation? Like, how did you cope up with it? Seriously, um, kailan ko lang siya na-realize na medyo mahirap right after ko kasi na-stranded ako for 36 days because I organized Cebu Travel Expo and Davao uh, Wedding Expo. So nakabiyahe na ako actually March 12, nasa Cebu ako. Na-stranded ako for 36 days, tumawid kami sa summer kasi I'm planning na dapat land travel kasi wala nga ano. So yun, naka-uwi naman after 36 days. Na-realize ko uh, after ng quarantine ko, it's so hard nga, nga medyo parang oops, hindi na to normal kasi nga, panay-extend na actually right after na uh, ECQ di ba, parang meron silang deadline kung kailan matatapos ma- ng ECQ, magiging GCQ hanggang mawala siya pero I just realized na parang medyo parang hindi natatapos bakit parang extend lang, extend lang extend, so yun na doon ko na na-feel na to normal, medyo affected na nga lahat ng events namin since naka-flat, naka-flat na rin yung events namin actually the whole year for 2020, even 2021, meron na rin kaming mga uh, pencil booking from different malls for our events. So, yun yung very challenging talaga. Kasi, syempre, events is isa sa uh, pinaka, I believe, pinaka last, kasi bawal ang mass gathering eh. Diba? So, yun yung challenge. Especially kahit mall nga, kanya imagine, ang mall nga mismo nag- nasara. So, since yun yung first market ko and yun yung talaga yung ginagawa ko, yun yung pinakamahira for me. Napaka... Nag-cope up, teka lang. Um, yun nga, nag-decide akong kailangan may alternative na gagawin. May alternative actually na, na business. Kasi kung hindi din tayo move forward, medyo mahira for us. ba? For three months. For three months, walang income. Lahat labas. Yun nga, na-stranded pa ako and all. So, medyo mahirap talaga. So, that's why I decided to have mobile palengke. Actually, yung mobile palengke, that's why I got also the name. Uh, medyo okay siya. I have website, mobilepalengke.org. I have uh, email ko. It's mobilepalengke at gmail.com. So, kaya medyo una siya. March pa lang, actually. Uh, ayun. Uh, na, iniisip ko na siya. Of course, with the... With, kasi nakita ko na uh, mukhang eto yata. Since hindi nag-move, everyone. Diba? May clustering and all stuff. Of course, I, I saw also this idea. Hindi ko yung pagkakailang. Ah, because I love uh, Mayor Biko Soto. So, doon ko nakita na very powerful yung idea na yun. So, why not na hindi ko to gawin from different areas? Kasi I believe this is for Pasig only. 
So sabi ko kailangan kong gumawa ng ng something uh, unique and something talagang relevant na doon sa crisis natin. So yung hinaharap natin. That's why yun, nag-decide ako magka-meron ng mobile palengke. Oh, that's very interesting. So um fr- ang galing no, so from events you switch to mobile palengke. Yung mobile palengke, but do you have a website or you already developed an app? Actually, it's a website muna, no. Um, initially, actually, hindi pa ganun ka full, ano, pero I got ng uh, www.mobilepalengke.org kasi I, uh, this is not really for me lang, hindi lang to para sa akin. Actually, for those wedding suppliers, may advocacy to help also the wedding suppliers na wala talagang puhunan, wala din talagang, kasi especially ako, hindi ako marun magluto. So nakikita ko lahat na nagpo-post ng mga wedding suppliers, magagaling magluto, alam mo yun, may binibenta sa ng pagkain, hindi talaga ako marunong. So, Good thing I, I I have mobile palengke. So an advocacy is to help also wedding suppliers. Actually, the priority ko dito is to help. Nag-invite ako ng mga wedding suppliers na pwedeng maging resellers. Okay. Na walang actually capital na kailangan. And so, even. Uh, okay. So do you deliver nationwide na or met uh specific areas for now? Right now, actually, nasa ano kami Calabar Zone and NCR. Ma- malawak na rin yung ano yung area mo. Yeah. So kasi madaming uh, wedding suppliers na syempre na network natin, 'di ba? So ngayon actually pinagagawa ko na sila ng chapter para dito kami makatulong sa kanila. Dito mi uh, parang sabi ko nga mobile pa lang it's not really sa akin lang. That's for everyone na wala talagang trabaho kasi yun ang kailangan natin i-produce. Actually, it's a long term. It's not I believe it's not really ayuda. Alam mo yon? It's very short term yun eh. Kailangan talaga, it's alternative livelihood program ang kailangan ng tao. Tama. So that's why I decided na to have mga chapters like meron na specifically Makati, so Mobile Palengke Dash Makati, magkakamera ng Mobile Palengke Dash Pampanga, para actually lahat yon mga wedding suppliers. That's good. So maybe you could invite other uh, people from the event industry to, you know, to become uh, your reseller. How can they reach you though? Um, you can reach us actually. Uh, just visit our Facebook page, Mobile Palenque. Just type Mobile Palenque, or you can email us mobilepalenque at gmail dot com. You can visit also our website, www.mobilepalenque dot org. Thank you. So I do have one more question. Um, since you mentioned earlier na na stop uh, or na pause yung mga events mo na na line up supposed to be for the whole year and even next year. What is your uh, plan uh, for it? Like, nag-refund ba kayo or um, you're just postponing? How did the, your suppliers or vendors or clients responded to it? Actually, um, seriously, kasi as katulad ng kayo ni Summer, no, um, syempre, na, pag maggagawa ka naman ng event, hindi katulad ng wedding planner. Sorry ha, um, for the weddings, for example, wala pang execution. Although yes, may meeting naman na sila, meron na silang draft ng ano. Pero feeling ko, pag ganito yung ginagawa namin, like organizing wedding expo, mas matrabaho. Diba? Um, minimum sa amin dito, actually, three months. Ginagawa namin, yung na-postpone namin ngayon, na Davao Wedding Expo, uh, ginawa ko yun 2019 pa. Tapos, technically, nasa one week to two weeks na lang, tsaka, na, tsaka siya na, na hindi na tuloy. So, syempre, yun nga, may mga... Siyempre, for how many months na natin pre-remote, pre-repair, lahat-lahat, nag-travel na ako actually ng Davao for suppliers briefing, alam mo yun, nagkamero na kami ng uh, photo and video shoot for everyone kasi ganun kami mag-remote for, for wedding expo. Yun, uh, good thing din doon, isa doon kasi nahabol namin yung Cebu Travel Expo, kaya doon ako na-stranded. Kasi parang na- nag-lockdown is 16, yung event ko doon is 14 and 15. So, tinuloy, na, yeah, tinuloy namin kasi sabi nga nila, itutuloy ba natin? Sabi ko, may safety precautions naman ng mall. So, I believe doon ako magre-rely kasi meron naman silang ganito, meron ganito. At hindi naman nagsasara ang mall. So, open naman. So, bakit hindi ko itutuloy? Pero, kaya hindi natuloy yung Davao kasi totally nag, nag, ano na sila, nag-lockdown na. So, kinansal na lahat ng flights. So, from Cebu dapat, we're going to Davao. Pero nung nag-lockdown na yung Davao, hindi na kami tumu- hindi na kami nakatuloy, pero talaga may ticket kami, kompleto kami, lahat-lahat. Tapos yung ginawa namin kasi magla-lockdown na rin ang Cebu, ginawa ko tumawid kami ng Samar. Kasi from Samar, kaya natin mag-land travel going to Manila. 
So good thing, ayun, nakahingi tayo ng tulong sa sa ating ano, city government, kung saan ako nakatira, yung nagpa-rescue kami, natulungan kami, kasi kasama ako yung apat na staff ko eh. So may apat ako na staff na kasama, na pumunta sa Cebu, nag-travel going to Samar. So 36 days kami doon nakastranded. So, so ang daming coordination, grabe. Hirap. So from Samar, nag-land travel ka to Manila? Yes, pero tumawid kami ha. So may coordination kami with Philippine Coast Guard. Ang dami namin kinausap. Ang dami namin kausap. Ang dami namin kausap. It's because yun nga, um, uh, daming kailangan coordination eh. So hindi siya basta-basta. Grabe yung experience mo, no? So, yes, oo. Mahirap. Ako, totoo lang, um, I feel like natakot ako sa mental health ko kasi parang, syempre, ako, events ako eh. So, um, loud, alam mo yun, outgoing. So, hindi ako pwedeng umupo sa isang kwarto. So, eh, na-isolate ako for 14 days. Like, in one room lang talaga. Like, bawal ka lang lumabas, sinahati lang ako ng pagkain, bawal guest, bawal lahat. So, may anteroom lang ang pagkain, ha? Can you imagine? May anteroom lang. So, minsan yung ilalagay yung pagkain, hindi ko nakikita yon So, ang hirap. Yeah, so ganun ka, ka hirap yung pinagdaanan ko actually with this COVID-19. Well, glad you're back here in Manila and hopefully you're doing better. Wala na yung anxiety attack. And I yeah. can tell naman na you're, you're very positive na and you just started the new venture, di ba? So, so that's a good thing or like look on the brighter side you were able to um start a new venture which is the mobile palenque and at the same time you're uh, creating a positive impact to your uh fellow sa uh, events industry so um i guess just one last question um what is your outlook for next year are you hopeful or uh being optimistic na matatapos sa na next year like everything would be if not normal the new normal in events industry can you know can operate na. So what is your outlook for next year? Actually seriously um for I hindi kasi ako nagbibigay technically ng hope kasi even ako mismo um hindi ako pananiniwala until wala ngang vaccine mo. Until hindi ko nakikita yung from other countries na medyo nagiging okay and all. So I think yon pero um, since as founder ng Wedding Suppliers Association of the Philippines Incorporated, I'm, meron kaming mga online trainings na ginagawa just to prepare. Like example, uh, we did na uh, uh, we did na yung mga consultation with uh, attorney, alam mo yun, kasi with the cancellations, with the refund, ano yung gagawin, so ginawa namin yun. Ginawa na rin namin actually yung, um, eto upcoming, meron kaming COVID-19 safety precautions and first aid for wedding suppliers kasi para maging ready sila. Um, sabi ko nga sa mga members, um, baka mamaya you're hoping na magkameron ng events, pero hindi ka gumagawa ng part. Like example, kailangan, siyempre nag-search ka na ng mga small venues, gumawa ka na ng sarili mong packages, alam mo yun, at sana meron ka ng thermal uh, scanner. Kasi kung gusto mo mag-events talaga, kailangan you need to prepare para tell them to the pe- tell to the people also, even your clients, na ready ka. So that's why yung mga trainings na ginagawa namin for them. Even yung intimate um, legalities and procedures, how to organize intimate weddings. So ginawa na namin yan. Kasi syempre, can you imagine yung mga wedding na na-postpone, tas na, can, uh, na, na yung iba na-cancel, paano na yung mga marriage license nila? Mm-hmm. ba? So, ano yung gagawin nila? So, kaya tinuturuan namin yung wedding suppliers, yung mga members namin, kung paano gagawin para hindi totally mag-cancel yung mga ano nila, clients, at least may idea sila kung anong gagawin. So, yun yung ginagawa namin ngayon. As I mentioned, hindi din ako nagbibigay ng hope, pero nire-ready ko sila. Yeah, tama. Dap- uh, dapat talaga ready just in case na biglang ma- ma- ma-sort out, hopefully, ma-sort out yung crisis or medyo mag-relax na, we'll all be safe at pwede na kayo mag-operate, ready na sila, di ba? So, dapat walang downtime. Correct. And seriously, ngayon, lagi kong, ngayon, kung, kung makikita mo yung mga post ko, actually, it's more on telling to the people na kailangan mo talagang gumalaw. Hindi ka kailangan magmokmok. Kasi ako personally, nagmokmok ako eh. Diba? Nahirapan ako talaga. Sobra ako nahirapan. Hindi talaga joke ang pinagdaanan ko. Sinasabi ko yan. Loud ako dyan. Na mahirap. Pero yun nga, buti na lang, good thing na nakamove forward ako. I have mobile palengke. Kasi masanay tayong busy eh. 
Di ba? Hindi tayo sanay na umupo eh. May, hindi tayo sanay na walang ginagawa. Mas gusto natin, especially marketing, especially events, alam mo yun, gusto natin maraming ginagawa. So, kahit medyo kakaiba tong ginagawa ko ngayon, mobile palengke, like, I pack talaga ng mga kilo-kilong, alam mo, sobrang kakaiba. Mar- I'm sure yung iba dyan, maraming naninibago. Hindi sanay naman mag-online selling. Alam mo yun, katulad ng example, may mga magtatanong, matamis ba ang strawberry? Yung mga ganun, oh my God, paano ko isasagutin yan? Ilang piraso ang isang kilo ng strawberry? Yung mga ganun, which is, hindi ko naman ginagawa yon So, kaya medyo very challenging actually. Tapos, syempre, may mga, since may mobile palengge ko, may mga nawi-waste na mga gulay kasi hindi ko nga alam kung paano siya gagawin. So, alam ko maraming maraming mga wedding supplies. It's, it's not about actually parang anxiety lang. Pero yung kung anong ginagawa nila, that's a challenge sila. Sobra nilang that's a challenge. Pagluto-luto lang, yung mga kahit hindi marunong, sige, let's try this. Yung mga pasabay or kung ano-ano pang ginagawa dyan. Medyo ano, bago sa kanila yon So, are you enjoying your new venture? Or is like uh, parang cool, parang culture shock, but uh, but are you enjoying it? <laughs> Napatawa. Napangiti ako actually. Kasi totoo, ang hirap. Um, parang gumagawa ka ng sariling negosyo, no? Talaga. Na talagang, eto umiiyak. As in, talagang umiyak talaga ako. Kasi yung pagod, hindi talaga siya katulad ng... For me, yung events, compensate kay sa pagod mo. Dito sa gulay-gulay, hindi. So, doon ako parang, oh my God. Pero sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, gagawin ko ba to kung may choice ako? Ibig sabihin, wala naman talagang choice eh. And for me, bakit ito mobile pala yung kids? Because ito yung essential. Magba back to basic lahat ng tao. Exactly. So, naniniwala ako na pagkain lang ang gustong bilhin ng mga tao as of the moment. So that's why nag-decide ako ng mobile palengke ang gagawin ko. I really admire dedi- your 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 dedication as well and then yung 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 drive mo like not to really give up. Like I think it's it, it is okay to feel uh, have fear, anxiety during these times, but what matters is how are we going to get back? Paano okay. tayo tayo ulit like I, uh, how are we gonna rise up and lalaban? But hindi naman pwede lagi lang tayo naka, naka, uh, magmumukmuk like you said. So, yeah, uh, it's uh, very grateful with all your insight. Hopefully, you mga viewers um, na, like, were inspired with your uh, with, with your, your uh, you know, yung mga share experiences mo. And, uh, yeah, do you have a last message to the events industry? Okay, um, I'm pretty sure yung ginagawa nyo na ngayong negosyo na bago, um, ang suggestion ko, wag nyo na rin bitawan yan. Bumalik man actually ang events, I believe, may enjoy at may enjoy nyo na siya. So, alam kong hindi ganun kadali. Alam kong mahirap. Wala naman eh, lahat naman apek- apektado eh. Sino ba hindi apektado? ba? Diba? kahit small, big company pa siya, kahit anong industry, lahat apektado eh. It's not really events lang. ba? Diba? Construction, name it, lahat naman, pare-parehas. At hindi lang Pilipinas, buong mundo naman to eh. So, kaya, ang suggestion ko sa kanila, kailangan nilang kumilos, kailangan nilang mag-isip, kailangan nilang galingan. This time, mas masusubukan yung galing nila. And please, wag silang tumigil. Wag silang mag-give up. That's, that's really great. So yeah, um, thank you so much again, PJ. And uh, we would like to uh, introduce our next guest and Cher will be doing the interview for our uh, next guest. All right, thank you.
Ay, ah, sorry. There. Yeah. Ayun, sorry. Ay, bakit ganyan? Sorry, sorry, technical difficulty. <laughs> Ayun, so for today, uh, I'll be um, participated by one of our my good friends in the event industry. So, si Mr. Foy, he is actually one of the sought-after event coordinator um, here in the South, as as far as I know. Kasi lahat, most na mga... Okay. Totoo, buong gaka kasi para yung mga pumakakilala kong pagpapakasal, parang sino coordinator mo? Si Foy. Ah, bongga. So, ayan. Yan si Foy. It's Foy of Casting. <laughs> ayan. So, meron akong right now. Mapatay ko lang to make it look um, ano tayo, very professional. So, um, according to your write-up, you mentioned na uh, you didn't really started on um, events management, but you parang envision mo with your parents na magkaroon ng 25th wedding anniversary, but that, can you tell us about it? Parang, I, I, I really wanted to hear it coming from you na parang, um, kasi <laughs> na ano ako eh, na-inspire ako, kasi ako, I lost my dad last year, and na-feel ko na gusto so ko dito. Dito. It's okay. Parang, na, naka-relate ako sa ano mo, sa kwento mo na gusto mo magkaroon ng bonggang event yung parents mo, and all of a sudden, mm. something tragic happened. Yes, boy. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, first of all, thank you so much for having us, Casamento Events, on your webinar. And aloha to everyone who's viewing right now. Um, I hope everyone is safe, um, safe and sound sa kanika ng bahay. And to give you idea. Foy, I think you're wala ka. Sorry, let's. Kaya na wala si si Sir Foy. Ay ayon since hindi na lang natin si Sir Foy to come back. Um, sorry. Are you back, Sir Foy? Ayan, so he's not yet. Sige, balikan na lang sa si Sir Foy. So si Sir si Foy, um, he started um, having a dream for his parents, yun nga, to have a, a very memorable silver wedding anniversary. But um, a tragic event happened to their family. And parang it this triggered him to be... Um, to become a, ano, to share his expertise to other people. Ayan, Foy's back. Hi, Foy! <laughs> lost Boy. for a few minutes, ano lang, few seconds. Well, but anyway, um, just to give you a short background of Casa Meto, it started really out of frustration talaga kasi um, we're not into social events talaga, yung mga weddings and the book, because I used to handle big events like corporate, like launching, uh -huh. um, fashion shows, and anything that you a big event in the Philippines because I was part of this um, big company before events company here in the Philippines. Then we also worked in a magazine and advertising firm. End up also on being one of the PR manager of the well-known designers in the Philippines. So when we started this, really the as a member, it's out of frustration because I just wanted to have to 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 handle my parents' silver anniversary. But unfortunately, it happened na matay yung dad ko, excited siya makita si Papa Gad. So, um, hindi siya natupad. It won't ever happen na ma-handle ma namin yung wedding ng parents ko. So, feeling ko, um, that give birth to casamento events. Kaya feeling namin lahat ng kinakasal na client namin are um, may kapatid or may ate or kuya. Kapag mga golden and silver, if you can see on our portfolio, uh, mas marami, kang, marami kaming golden and silver anniversary talaga. Kasi andun yung frustration ng team. Then, um, magal. And then parang sabi nila, ah, okay naman pala. So, um, it helped na nakatulong sa akin yung mga designers kong friend na i-push through yung 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 business nito. So, technically, I'm not into wedding industry, but because of the, this kind of frustration and because of the foundation, the 
your your alam mo yung strong yung strong mind mo bakit mo gusto maghandle ng wedding um kaya karon ng casa mental events ayo nang bonggay ng ano ng background ng casa mental events <laughs> Thank like you. I said, sought after ka. Uh, um, it parang ano yun, calling card ng event organizer na maganda yung ginawa mo. Kasi word of mouth, it will spread out sa friends, sa family, sure. lahat sila, sunod-sunod. Parang sino ba yung event coordinator mo? Pag na, nakuha mo yung kahit isang client lang, kahit mm-hmm. siya lang yung papasaya mo sa, sa isang araw mm-hmm. na to. Pero yung buka yeah. mo kanya, ex, 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 it express the, ano, the love for your sure. craft. Totoo naman, kasi to be honest, when we started the the, the business, um, I don't really have the idea how to run the wedding, kung ano yung mga essentials na dapat gawin niya uh, sa isang event. Um, may isa lang home friend din talaga na planner na before, pero nag-stop siya kasi pumunta ibang bansa. So binigyan lang niya ako ng basic knowledge, the foundation. Um, ang unang-unang client ko, totally stranger. Hindi ko siya kilala, pero nakita lang niya kami via online. Um... Because of the, because of you know, my background tayo on this advertising firm, and we we used to work on that company, so nakatulong to advertise. Mm-hmm. Nawala ulit si Foy. Actually, si Casa Mento ang pinaka biggest namin na clients are yung portion. That... Okay, na ba ako? Okay, ka na. Yes, you're Hello? back. You're back. Ayan. So, ayon. Sorry fluctuating yung internet niya. I don't know what's going okay. on. Pero to 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 give you also, yun nga, um, ang pinakamarami namin clients talaga are referrals talaga. Kasi we believe na um, yun dun nga, may ikakasal pa at ikakasal sa pamilya niya. Meron kami isang client, ultimo birthday party ng kasambahay nila at mayor doon ang bahay nila. Eh, hinahin wow. nila. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ganun sila ka-loyal. And maraming ganun. Most talaga kasi parang kasi nga yung love nandoon hindi lang siya business hindi lang pera, pero yung hinahabol mo on your ano on your craft. And wala ko na if you put your heart on the on your client so naramdaman nila yo. So feeling ko doon nandoon most of our clients are referrals. I agree. As a event coordinator myself, iba talaga yung ano dahil stressful yung paggawa ng event at the end of the mm-hmm. day pag tapos na siya, nakaka ano nakaka um, masaya sa puso yung nakikita yung happy yung bride mo, yung groom mo, yung attendees, yung Uh-oh. parents ng, ng couple. It's so amazing mm-hmm. na makil nila pasama, pasalamatan ka. Ayun. So, so, yun nga, f- f- Foy. So, um, um, one question. Since COVID happened already, syempre, sunod-sunod yung bookings mo, for sure. Eh, nung dumating ng February, March yung COVID, how did you feel na biglang, uy, wait lang, Foy, parang stop ka muna. Alam ko, you're so driven na parang, alam mo yun, energetic ka na, pak, 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 ang dami-daming event. Tapos biglang, Foy, stop. Parang, how did it feel? How did you um, pursue with the heartache ng, ano, ng itong pandemic na to? Um, actually, hindi yung, yung pagtap, actually, hindi lang siya doon sa COVID nag-start yung struggle ng mga planners. Kasi remember what happened with that? Uh, the tall eruption pa lang when we had this last January. Maraming na kaming clients talaga na affected. Even the nearby venues near Taal. Uh, talagang nagkaroon na ng big changes doon sa company namin and other planners I knew. Um, yung pumasok naman yung COVID, uh, of course, as as the leader of the company, you have to be more positive kasi eh. Uh, hindi ka dapat ma-shake eh, na, um, alam mo yun, pag natarata ka kasi lahat, everything will fall down. So, change is very inevitable. So, hindi natin may iwasan yan. Talagang magkakaroon, magkakaroon ng changes. Ang ginawa lang talaga namin noon, if we had three or four events in a week, tapos totally nag-zero kami kasi because of the pandemic crisis, um, kailangan ko i-assure muna yung security ng buong staff namin. Kasi um, lahat ng magagandang events kita nyo on our website, on our official um, social media accounts, um, I can take all the credits na ako yung gumawa, ako yung kliyente ko yan. Maraming taong nagtatrabaho sa likod ng magagandang events na to. And that's my, one of my staff. Kaya parang sinasabi nga namin, yung, yung team ko na parang, 
we have to take care of our team. Kasi sila yung unang-unang mas nangangailangan nito. May ibang mga breadwinners sa kanila. May iba na. Yun na talaga yung naging trabaho. So, yun yung unang-una namin sinecure the, yung, yung team namin kung anong mangyayari. Kasi of course, hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan yung pandemic. Kung hanggang kailan tayo makaka-discover ng vaccine. So, hanggang kaya na ang company na tumulong, tutulong tayo. But we can only do so much. Um... So, munod na ginawa namin is we have to secure also the, yung, yung, yung feelings ng mga brides namin. Kasi meron sa amin na, kasi napaka, most of our clients talaga are all in package, full coordination. So, technically, we work um, sa isang account nila, one year na, two years na, tapos nangyari yung ganito. Yung iba, nataal na nga, nagka-COVID pa. So, mas iba yung depression na nararamdaman nila and the anxiety. So we have to make sure as a planner to 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 secure na everything will be okay. Everything we're on top of everything. Na, kasi lahat naman ng industry talaga natamaan ng ano ng crisis na to. So we ganun yung ginawa. It's a new norm na kailangan lang natin siguro na uh, we just have we just need to adapt kung ano dapat nating gawin. Um ayun. So nagulat yes na pero we have to be strong for our team kasi hindi ka pwedeng hindi ka pwedeng sumuko nandiyan na yan eh so gusto ko yung sinabi mo oo oh, gusto ko yung sinabi mo na ikaw dapat as the business owner or the head for your team ikaw dapat yung strong ikaw yung dapat foundation ng strength ng team mo kasi pag ikaw yung unang nawalan ng pag-asa ano pa sila na exactly. uh, that's very you know that's very touching ramdam ko yun na Kawawa talaga yung mga staff natin sa totoo lang kasi some of our staff minsan no, ano sila eh, um kung kailan lang yung event minsan doon lang natin naman talaga sila binabayaran yeah. or I don't know I don't uh-huh. know how it works with you pero on my experience before parang kung kailan ko sila kailangan doon ko sila um kukunin and some some coordinators minsan rumaracket sa iba't ibang coordinator para meron silang araw-araw na events ba diba? pero Right now, wala talaga for sure. Wala din sa lang. I don't know. Parang it is really, you know, sickening somehow. Pero yun nga. Pero lahat um, nagula. Oo, kabog tayo lahat. So no, no one is prepared. <laughs> so yung contingency plan mo ba? Since I, I heard you started yung potahe ni Bam. Kasama kasama mo ba dito yung mga staff mo? Or this is just your um one of your i know um venture somehow actually it's a good question sure because mm-hmm. the company is trying to innovate for alternative income for our staff because mm-hmm. most of our team na mananakita in support sa sa amin they are mm-hmm. full time full time talaga they work with us so ah. na, salary everything so because of this pandemic crisis we have to look for alternative income for our staff and for the freelancers the putahe ni madam which is recently launched uh this is owned by one of my event manager used to be uh yes one of my used to be so because i used to be my, my sister kapatid ko so <laughs> we're trying to ang sama ako sa kapatid ko. So, um, kasi may mga, marami sa mga planners namin, ang mga teammates namin na really good in cooking. So, we just have to test the water. Um, Putahin ni Madam is just only one of the one of the innovation na gagawin ng team. Kasi we have to build a good menu muna bago namin isa guys sa team namin. Uh, this is just only, you know, Uh, test test baby muna siya. And then, meron pang iba for contingency plan. Of course, I want to secure my, the future also of my team and the future of my business. So, uh, food and beverage, nagda-divert na rin kami doon somehow. Plus, beauty essentials. Maglalabas na rin very soon. We have to check lang lahat ng mga basic necessities and the documents. Um, we're also innovating in online or digital marketing and production. Kasi, If you if you would notice, lahat ng planners or lahat ng nasa events industry, nag-divert sila into food and beverage, which is okay naman talaga kasi very essential yun. Um, now we're looking at on the bigger frame, on the bigger picture, saan ka pwede pang pumaso. Um, on the putahe of putahe ni Madam, we're just only focusing on the pasta and the seafoods. And of course, the... Uh, um, 
the original dish, hindi mo original dish, yung yung recipe ng mother ko sa lain or the taro leaves. So, check lang namin how to how to market it hanggang makaabot sa ano, uh, nationals, yung mga ganun level. So, we just have to check. Maraming, maraming innovation, maraming mga kinakausap ng mga businessmen then and manufacturers bago namin ibaba totally sa, sa team namin. Kasi, to be honest, sure, um, ang ginagawa, yung ginawa kasi ng company namin, the entire um, ECQ, um, alam namin naman, of course, mahirap kailangan mo kumita. So, we help as much as we can and we raise um, mga funding for them. Ngayon, uh, Alam mo yon, kasi I, I I teach my my team na to look on the positive way, on the to look on the positive, um or in, you know in the silver lining. dapat positive ka lang lagi. Correct. Na take this as the opportunity for you to stay with your family, to gather to your you know to cope up with your mom, with your with your dad or sa mga kapatid mo, sa mga kaibigan mo. Right now kami sa family namin, um mas na happy yung mom ko na sabay sabay kami ulit tumakain sa dining ng breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's something that she's asking what will happen kapag bumalik sa normal. Can we eat, can can we still eat together? Of course, yun mm-hmm. lang. Ngayon, magkakaroon yung GCQ then that's the time siguro kailangan na natin na uh, bigyan ng projects mga teammates natin. Ganyan. Okay. Kailangan na, ano yun, tama na ang bakasyon. It's a new norm. Kailangan na natin itong tanggapin. Alam mo, Matagal pa yung vaccine. Let's be an you know, realistic here. Hindi agad-agad magkakaroon yan. Um, let's use your time wisely. Huwag kang maging, huwag kang tumambay dyan. Huwag kang madepress or anxiety. <laughs> or ma- something. Alam mo yan. Uh, laban lang. Laban lang ng laban. Mahirap kung mahirap. But if you're going to think that you can make it, then you can make it. So sabi niya, if what you says in the universe, it will happen to you. Ganon. Ang beautiful. Ang, ang ganda. Thank you, Foy. <laughs> Para ako nakikinig na Miss Universe pageant but I, I I super agree with you and life is very short and alam natin na na parang na parang we it, siguro parang ano tayo learning sa atin na we should stop and pause ko anong ginagawa natin and look at the beautiful True. things that we have na meron tayong yeah. we still have our family we still have food in the table so parang mm. Yun nga, actually, one of the reasons why ESNE came about, hindi to plug, plug or something, pero it's really more on, we really want to help yung mga people na to gain skills. Kasi minsan may mga skills na kailangan mo pang pag-aralan. So, paano pag hindi alam ng tao, paano, paano na sila? So, so yun, nasegue ko. Yes, sobrang dali ng, ng, ng eksena ngayon na kahit may pandemic, we have all the means. We have social okay. medias. We have YouTube. We have cell phones and everything. Alam mo, nagulat ako sa team ko. They're into vloggings lahat. Na, sabi That's ko, ang awesome. gaganda nila ng Eddie. Nakakoloka sila. Pati ang content minsan, parang sir, yung content po tapusin mo na kailangan ng Eddie. Na parang sila na parang, they, kasi most are very creative. We're very creative dito. Just have to maximize kung anong meron ka ngayon eh. Um, it's true, kailangan natin mag-survive. Kailangan mo kumita ng pera. Yes, totoo naman yan. Lalo na if you're a breadwinner or may, pina, may pinapag-aral ka or may mga bills ka dapat mm-hmm. meron. Because everyone has an overhead na kailangan mo intindihan. But in the end of the road, kung negative ang naiisip mo or napaka-nega mo sa nangyayari, I think that the, the good luck, hindi mo siya ma-attract. So kung mas positive ka, feeling ko, the money will always be there. The money is just a, bond, it's just a piece of paper. Kikitain mo yan. And may kita mo na mas marami pa tutulong, mas maraming opportunity. You just have to look um, ano ba ang mas maganda pang mga mangyayari sa atin on this kind of pandemic. Baka meron pa tayong mga na, 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 na hindi natin na-discover na talents natin. Ganyan. Agree. Siguro sa segue ko na din ulit since madami akong segue with you. Um, I, also, I also head um, Thoughtful Media Group Philippines. So it's an MCN company. So sa lahat ng gusto mag-YouTube, pasok kayo sa amin. So we are yeah. helping creators na paano gumawa ng content properly, pa paano understand yung analytics. Ayun. TMZ is um, a YouTube certified company. Ayan, ang dami kong wow. segue. <laughs> Thank you, Foy. Pero before we end this up, I want to understand it from your own perspective. Ano sa tingin mo mangyayari sa atin in 2021? Do you think um, 
I know there's a lot of innovations right now that you can come up with yung weddings, di ba? Pwede maging intimate. Pwede pa rin naman, definitely kailangan pa rin nila ng coordinator. Kaya lang, iba lang siguro yung bibigay natin sa kanilang services and all. Pero, in your opinion, parang paano kaya natin to ma- makikita yun sa 2021? Um... Like what I've said earlier, just have to adapt kung ano yung new norm. If the new norm is kailangan ibalik natin yung original settings ng wedding, then that's fine. Um, venue, pagkain, photographers, videographers, that's all. As long as you can sell it. You can sell it naman ng, alam mo yun, you can sell it as an all-in package. Um, just adapt kung ano lang, kung ano meron. Hindi ko, kasi feeling ko, yung mga, well, actually, pag-usap-usapan ng mga entrepreneur na kakilala ko, na parang babalik ang gant- yung industry natin by 2023 pa. So we just have to adapt. Merong, meron naman, merong pwede natin ganyan. For example, tulad ng recent na ginawa ng isang fashion show ng isang malaking events company, yes. uh, mm-hmm. nagkaroon sila ng online fashion show, which you can do it also. Mali mo, magkaroon ng online wedding, may online lamay nga, di ba? Hindi lang masyari na promote. So baka magkaroon, which is have to be more creative kung ano yung kailangan natin gawin or i-maximize sa, sa larangan. Yun sa nangyayari ngayon. Um, I know Filipinos are very survivor, are very survivor. Hindi tayo nagpapatalo. Mesti, kahit sino sa atin, wala nagpapatalo. Alam natin how to survive on the most um, hard, um, hardest battle that we're facing right now. Feeling ko rin naman talaga na meron at merong lalabas pang magagandang opportunity, di ba? So, tignan na natin, just ha- kung ano mangyayari by the next year or by the next succeeding years, we just have to be more positive. Yun lang yung sabi ko lagi with, the, with my team, sa mga friends din namin, just have to be, you just need to be positive. If all else failed, and you felt like you're cornered or walang, wala kang matakbuhan at feeling mo na kakaroon ka ng anxiety, then keep on praying. Because prayer is the most powerful thing that you can do right now. And be be happy and be, you know, feel blessed kasi kahit sino sa atin ngayon sa circle na kilala natin, we're still okay. Wala tayong sakit. That's the most um, uh, valuable things na pwede mong i-treasure ngayon. If you surpass this, magkaroon ng vaccine and you were able to to me on the on the on the mainstream, and that's that's fine. You're part of the history, and never ever stop sharing your blessings to others. Kahit walang wala na, hanggat kaya tumulong tumulong. Ganun lang. I agree. Ang ang ganda mo magano. Ang ganda mo magadvise. Very <laughs> ano. Very tagos sa heart and very beautiful. Thank you, Foy. Thank you for thank ano, you so much. Thank you for accepting our offer. Wag ka mo niya may Thank you for ano, having us. Uh, please stay. So I'll just of show you. Oh, uh, I'll just show you video ni Miss Summer. Na miss ko siya kanina. Sorry for okay, that. Okay, no problem. Alright. Sige. This is ano before I do um bridal fair video. Mm-hmm. Alright. I can't forget the day when you said yes to me it's amazing how we got this far Everybody sees that I'm so in love with you Words cannot express how much you mean to me For all time would you guard my heart Anyone can see we can't be far Apart. We have forever ahead of us. We will not rush. Let's stay together. It's gotta be love. This is the right time to plan a lifetime. I can't believe we will be one. Now this is a 
my dream come true. Let's make this day bright as the sun before I do. Looking forward to the start of our lives together. So much happiness, I know it's forever. Dreams will come true because I know it's you. We're growing stronger, much closer together. It only happens once. We cannot miss this chance of a lifetime. We have forever ahead of us. We will not rush. Let's stay together. It's gotta be love. This is the right time to plan a lifetime. I can't believe we will be one now. This is a dream come true. Let's make this day bright as the sun. Before I do, this is the right time to plan a lifetime. I can't believe we will be one now. This is a dream come true. Let's make this day bright as the sun. Before I do. Moments to go until we're one. Now this is a dream come true. This day will be bright as the sun before I do. Hello, hello, good, we're back. So we're giving, we're putting everybody on screen right now. Yeah. Ayan, thank you very much for your time today. Um, sorry kung madami tayong tech difficulties, but it is very awesome na kasama namin kayo. And we are getting a lot of ano, um, sentiments and inspiration with all of your um, journey or experiences. Siguro, let's just have parang one last question para sa everybody. Siguro, what do you think is um, the best business for our fellow um, events people or event, um, the ones who are running events? Right? It, it, ang events naman, hindi lang naman coordinators, right? It could be photographers, it could be yung um, florists, yung stylists, yung, um, ano tawo dun, yung couture, and, and such. So, yeah. Siguro simula natin kay, ano, kay TJ. What do you think um, can help us with, parang, ano, inspiration for our uh, other, other eventologists? Um, as I mentioned kanina, actually, um, may mga ginagawa ng mga wedding suppliers na iba-ibang, I mean, iba-ibang negosyo, no? Um, mostly, ang nakikita ko, it's more on food, eh. More on the Tama. food, more on essentials, actually. And sabi ko nga, um, kahit bumalik pa yung normal or bumalik pa tayo sa events, actually, per, pag nag-work na ulit, huwag na nating bitawan kung ano yung ginagawa natin ngayon. Kasi, Tama. This is an additional actually income also for everyone. Uh -oh. and, and kung tinatanong kung ano yung dapat, I believe it depends sa character, it depends sa capacity eh. Even ako, sinabi ko lang sa sarili ko, baka bumalik ako sa corporate. Diba? I, inayos ko resume ko, nag-apply ako, kasi alam mo yun, isa sa mga possible options. I, it's so hard to tell kung ano yung dapat gawin nila. It's because 
depende kung ano yung capacity nila, depende kung ano yung passion nila aside from the events. Agree. Super agree ako. Ikaw naman, Foy, what's your, ano, what's your take on it? I agree also with DJ and I just have to look within yourself kung ano yung capability mo. It's hard to tell kasi sa everyone na ito yung magandang gawin yung negosyo kasi baka bago natin naisip, ginagawa na nila, di ba? Pero ako kasi ngayon, I might highly suggest um, look within yourself kung ano yung talaga kaya mong gawin, dun lang. Pero kung ano, uh, maniwala ka. Kapag sinimulan mo yung isang negosyo, believe it will work and believe it will it will boom. Kung, kung nasan nga tayo ngayon, di ba, na, lumago naman din siya. And if everything falls down or nag-fail, um, don't be afraid to start again, to start all over again. Ngayon, kung meron mga mga negosyo nagsasarahan or bumabalik ulit on square one or sa unang-una, that's fine. It's part of the process. Keep on going and keep on going and be positive. I love it. Thank you, boy. Miss Summer, Thank how about you? you? Uh, business, okay. Uh, basically, it's the same as Foy and TJ. Um, food is uh, a necessity. So, madami ngayon ang into food business. Also, sanitation. So, yung mga alcohol gels, things like that. Uh, it's always, ano naman, kung ano necessity, yun ka sure na medyo kikita ka. Pero, at most, if possible, as what uh, was said by Foy and PJ, look into yourself, know what you can do, assess your assets, your traits, para alam mo yung anong pwede mong gawin na hindi masyado mahirap sa'yo. Okay, so like, um, if you're, what? Ayun nga, if you're a photo video person, pwede mo pagkakitaan, gumawa ka ng tutorial. Hair and makeup, again, tutorial. No, baka kung marami kang viewers, kumita ka pa. Or uh, mag, uh, so dito, mag master class sa SM, uh, ESME, di ba? So, kikita rin sila ko rin doon. Or for food caterers, oh, bakit ka pa magpapakahiro? Pwede ka naman mag ano, party trades. Kasi small gatherings, kahit birthdays na yun, nagsaselebrate ka rin sa bahay. So, you don't really have to even talaga totally iba. If you can think of something na pwede mo gawin pa rin, kung ano yung kaya mo, ano yung alam mo, that will be yes. Pero as I would always say, we will not bounce back. Because Thank we you. will bounce forward. Yes, I, I love that. Kasi pag sinabi yung bounce back, pa, pa, pa back, baka magalit yung ibang tao sa atin. But yes, I know. <laughs> let's be forward. Uh, let's go forward. Um, alam mo, ang ganda ganda. So, super inspire, inspire ako sa mga, um, yun nga, sa mga knowledge na sinare nyo. And we're very thankful um, for providing us your time today and for also sharing to your friends and colleagues yung um, live webinar that we had um, that just transpired. Miss Jessica, may sasabihin ka. Yeah, so we are really grateful for, for the people na nanood sa first webinar namin and especially grateful sa mga guests namin. And uh, re- we really appreciate your time. Um, and uh, we would like to invite everyone to visit our website at esme.ph. So we've already launched a few free courses and hopefully we, uh, we'll be launching more free, free courses. And we would like to invite... Um, instructors or contributors to you know to contribute a uh, contribute and uh, re- uh let's uh create a positive impact by sharing our, our knowledge and skills so we can all you know bounce back uh together right now um we all feel uh this is uncharted territory with what's happening with the crisis and but we must uh remain calm and show so- solidarity and stand by uh stand by each other in this difficult time. So, yun lang naman. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Jessica. Sabi nga nila, ngayong crisis na to, parang palabanan kung gano'ng kataba yung utak mo. Parang si TJ, si Foy, si Ms. Summer, matataba yung mga utak mo, mga 
mga guests natin nito. Kaya para yung mga yung mga suggestions nila or yung mga things that they've already done so far is very para sa it's very inspiring for a regular person. Parang uy okay pala yun, pwede ko pala siyang gawin and such. But before we end any um this discussion, do you have final I know final message to our staff or to our fellow event um people na who's watching or might be watching in the future Sige po yes Ako pala agad Oh um, Siguro final words lang natin sa lahat to my to my teammates and other colleagues in this industry keep on fighting because one day we will soon conquer everything and this too shall pass. You just have to be positive and um, always pray. Yan lang. Kahit ano pa religion natin, how you communicate to your Lord or to the highest form of energy, keep on praying and keep on believing to yourself that we can make it on this time. All right. How about you, Miss Almer? Hi, yun nga po. Um, in times of uh, crisis, in fear, Lado na tayo, lagi tayong stress. Yes. Uh, we, we reach out to our friends and family. And siyempre sa Lord. Kasi yeah, yun lang din ang ano, tatakbuhan natin. Also, um, kasi di ba ang dami na nag-bibento online. Tapos lahat na lang puro food. Tapos ikaw mm-hmm. hindi mo alam kung ano yung bibenta mo. Or paminsan yung iba dyan kung ano-ano na yung binibenta, makapumita lang. Huwag po tayo mahihiya ko ano yung bebenta natin. Okay. At kahit si SM nagtuturon. Correct. Huwag tayo mas, ano, huwag tayo mahihiya. Kasi uh, sabi nga ni TJ doon sa mga post niya, kung hindi ka kikilos, wala. Magugutong ka lang. Tama. Kung humili ka, wala. Walang mangyayari sa buhay mo. Mapag-iiwan ang kapat. Thank you, Ms. Summer. How about you, TJ? Last parting words for our viewers. Ako, actually, uh, I would like to invite all wedding suppliers to join with us to support each other, actually, because we want to help you all. So uh, we need, initially, para mag-move forward, uh, alternative livelihood program. Eh. Yun yung sinasabi ko nga. It's not really for ayuda. It's very short term. Eh. Kailangan natin mag-move forward. So, yun. You can visit Mobile Palenque. Segway ko. So, Mobile Palenque para at least um, lumaki para para sa yung makatulong sa isa't isa maging busy tayo ulit may makain lang tayo sa araw-araw it's a blessing na actually until hindi pa tayo nagkakamero ng events all right awesome so for me thank you very much paulit-ulit pero super thankful kami for giving us your time your at uh, baka kanina ang araw-araw tapos ngayon wala ng araw so thank you for spending an hour and a half of your time with us with ESME and if ever you want to contribute your knowledge then feel free to tap us in such um our platform is a free course um it's a free free course pla- mark course marketplace tapos we also do this kind of events for our last parting words, our my co-founder Jessica. Uh, yeah, um, it's the same thing like mentioned earlier. Uh, please visit our website at esme.ph. You can create your free account and access our free courses. So you can start learning, learn some, learn something new during the ECQ. Sabi nga ni DJ kanina, bawal ang downtime. dapat gumawa tayo ng paraan so uh, para kumita, de ba? So um, learn something new para makapag-adapt ka sa nang, nang, nangyayari ngayon and um, make, make something and uh, para makumita ka yun lang yun naman Ayan, yeah, and okay. also thank you so much for having us guys this is a wonderful um, platform for everyone yes thank you thank you thank you for having us of course thank you very much we're ending now, but we're just showing uh, a tidbit of the of our presentation. Ko ano yung what this event is. I lost for words. But again, thank you from the bottom of our heart, from me and Jessica and the ESME team, and for all the event industry people. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and being here with us. Bye. Bye.